Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and we're back with another card opening video. And today I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Because I've got two separate starter decks for the Star Trek uh, trading card game. Yeah, the trouble with tribbles. Look at that, it's so cool. So we've got the Federation deck and the Klingon deck. And I'm looking forward to this because I kind of want to know how to how the game's played. And these decks have been sitting around for a while. I've been wanting to crack them so I could see how it's played. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Federation. What's a year on here? 2000. So, 18 years ago. Ah, Cisco. That's a fancy little book. Let's go ahead and pull this out first. Take a quick look at it. Ah. Wow. There's a lot of fine print in here. I'm going to have a decent amount of reading to get through. Alright, set that over there. Uh, here we go. Uh, Lieutenant Sisko. Benjamin Sisko. Alright. May report uh, where Captain Kirk is present for free. I have no idea what this means. But someday. Someday I will understand. Because right now, I'm just kind of looking. I kind of want to get to the point where, ooh, ship, nebula class, huh, it's going to be kind of like, uh, when I opened, what was it, the uh, Magic the Gathering stuff, where I'm sitting here trying to hold both decks, but still show things off without my finger being in the way, oh gosh, the cards are slick too. I don't want to get them out of order either, because I'm I'm going to pay more attention to this later when I try to learn how to play a runabout. I just thought the runabout kind of looked weird. Doesn't look anything like a shuttle. Maybe that's because it's a runabout. Okay, it's getting weird because uh, the deck's starting to slide out of out of place. Medical. Gibson. Ooh, Galaxy Class. Ah, come on. Focus. Elite Class of Ships was a uh, Galaxy. Alright. Event. Man, it's so... They're so slip... Uh, they're so slippery. Hmm. Class of runabout, often named. Well, hopefully someone wants to read, because uh, if I sit here and read every card, this would be a really long video. Like, insanely long. So I guess right now, we're just kind of checking out the pictures. Oh, there we go. Chief Engineer of the original USS Enterprise. So I'm kind of wondering how the, uh, I'll just do it like this, how the integrity, cunning, and strength plays out. Ah, uh, the Constitution class, alright. Heavy cruiser. I do like the little, uh, information you get down here. Picard! <laughs> okay. 
I, I'm kind of surprised. Why have I not seen a bunch of triples? Are they like the back? Is that what's going on? Alright, there we go. I feel a, slightly better now. Federation Outpost. Which one is it? Do, do, do. Seed one or... Huh. That's kind of cool. I'm really curious how this game is played now. Dilemma. Dilemma. Come on. Where are the trebles? Nah. I really thought, like, a lot of these cards would, you know, be tribbles. And deal with tribbles, but I see no such thing. Where are they? It's kind of a... Kind of a bit of a shock, because now I'm just wanting to fly through them. See if I find a single friggin' triple. What is this? Like I said, trying to keep these in order. So what is the not, why is the three upside down? Oh shoot! I don't I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, there's a lot I didn't... I'm... Whoa. I remember that. I remember. Well, that was, uh... Kind of weird. I thought for sure there'd be, uh... Cards that specifically dealt with triples in here, but... I guess I was wrong. I was mistaken. So according to one of my friends, there's two different uh, variations of the card game, or versions, I guess. There's like Series 1 and Series 2. And series 2 was supposed to be way better for deck building. Captain Koloth. Yes. You know, back when... Uh, Klingons didn't have lobsters on their head. Like that. Lobster. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to enjoy looking at this one a lot more. It's so weird though. Seeing the old school Klingon. Right next to. Uh, lobster head. Taka. Uh, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, except for that. I know that. Oh, so you get two of those. Now, you know what equipment they need. The Sword of Kalos. Ha ha ha. But, you know, Batleth do just fine. I mean... Oh, God. Man. I gotta have these cards, like, really close for you to get a decent look at them. Oh, it's my hero! Easily, uh... Why in the world is Cisco just down on the ground? There we go. There we go. Q. Aha. Uh -huh. Regenerates a card. Ah, uh, Q, you're so friggin' cool. I do know that they made, uh... I think it was... Uh... Crap, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, a booster expansion set that dealt with Q specifically. 
And that I might be tempted to get after I figure out how in the heck this game is played. Well, there we go. Now we get some tribbles. Let's set this down. Goodbye, Q. Back into the middle you go, buddy. Ah, look at them. They're so adorable. So numerous were tribbles on the Starship Enterprise that some were beamed to K-7 along with Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock. 100 or triple bomb. What? Uh, when any person... Huh. Good God. I'm out. Alright, I'm back. It sucked, but whatever. It's like I can never get through an entire video without being interrupted. It sucks. Uh, so, why is it that the, uh, the Klingon got all the triple-related stuff? And the Federation didn't really have any. Kind of weird. Dilemma. Well, some of these were in the other one. Dead end. Oh, good God. That is creepy. They give you nightmares. She sees into your soul. How does this actually say? Uh, a non-corporeal life form. Oh, okay. I remember. That is really cool. Stellar collision. Plasma stream. Some of these just seem like meh, but meh. Ha ha ha. Wow. Pretty freaking cool. Oh, there's that one too. Alright, let's reassemble. So there's both of the starter decks, even though I have no idea what the heck I was looking at. But, I intend to learn at some point. Because I want to understand what in the world I just looked at. It's a complete mystery to me. Now, on the plus side, once I understand it, then maybe we can move on to this. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. So, an entire booster box of the Mirror Mirror expansion. Oh, man. So, well, let's see. Is there a year on this one so we can compare? No? Where's it at? Okay, so this came out the same year. Uh, it's hard to see, but... 2000. Now, really, I picked this one because I was like, Ooh, Deep Space Nine. And Deep Space Nine's my thing. That and Next Generation. Two favorites. So... Hopefully you've enjoyed this. You're definitely going to have some more Star Trek coming in the future. But I've got a lot of other cards to open. So, please stick around. You never know what I'll open next. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Oh, better grab Cisco. Later.